Welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen, everyone. And if it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. In today's episode, we are making a Bourbon Street chicken with Baby Reds as our side. I love this stuff. When I go to a restaurant and I see it on the menu, I get it almost every time. I'm gonna show you how I make it. Let's start. So for our marinade, we're using a half a cup of brown sugar, quarter of a cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of whiskey or bourbon, and a quarter cup of EVOO. So I'm gonna put in brown sugar first, then I'm gonna put in the whiskey, or soy, and the EVOO. Give it a good mix. And now I'm gonna let this rest for a few minutes while we prep the chicken. We have four pieces of chicken here. And really the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some Uncle Steve's competition bird powder and just kinda, oh, there goes my bag. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're gonna sprinkle it over the top just a little bit, nothing crazy. Perfect. We don't want a lot. So I'm gonna just put all four pieces into this bag. And then we're gonna add our marinade over the top. Oh man, it, sm it does smell amazing. Give it a good mix. And then these are going into the fridge for one hour. We have some baby reds here. Super simple to do. Just cut them in half, right? This one's a little bigger. I might cut it into quarters. Same with this one. Kind of big. And that one. Kind of a big one as well. Perfect. We have a pan here. You know, just put some EVOO down in there. Put in our potatoes. Perfect. Now I do have some rosemary that I'm gonna throw into this and we're just gonna cook it up with it. And then we're gonna use some Mexican oregano, but not a lot. I don't want the Mexican oregano to just overpower this. Give it one more douse of EVOO. And now, since we're cooking it on the Weber kettle, you know that's kind of low and slow, uh, we're gonna cook these up before we do the chicken. Let's start. With our grill at 400 degrees, I'm just gonna lay the potatoes in the middle of the Weber kettle. I'm gonna throw some salt onto the potatoes. and some fresh cracked pepper. Give it a quick stir. Cap it, and we'll see you when uh, they're done. Our potatoes have been on for about 45 minutes and they're almost done. Our chicken's been in the marinade for a little over an hour. Gonna put it on. We're doing the indirect heat method for this one for the most part. Towards the end, we might go direct heat. There we go, let's let these things cook up. I just checked the chicken and it's already at 133 degrees for the most part, but this meal is not complete. I'm gonna put some EVOO down. We're gonna put some shrimp in there. And you know the shrimp are gonna go fast. been down for about a minute. We're just going to give them a quick stir. Shouldn't take long. Our potatoes are done. The chicken is coming along. In fact, let's check the chicken. 
about 140, 152. 145. 151. Oh, 144, we're getting so close. Let's give our shrimp another stir. Oh wow, it's getting close. I think it's time to take the potatoes off. Give our shrimp another stir. Getting close. Move our chicken over the direct heat for a moment. Kind of give it a little nudge. We don't want our chicken to be over the direct heat for too long, but we will start burning it. Give the shrimp another stir. Very close to being done. Check our chicken tip. Getting closer by the moment. Another flip. Now the key to this recipe is that chicken, making sure it's tender. I'm going to take the shrimp off. Keep up on this chicken. Check our chicken again. One fifty two. Everything's hovering around one fifty still. I'm afraid if I cover it, it's just going to get too hot. Yeah, 158, 53, yeah, we're at 158, yeah, 165, pull that one here just a second.
Now for me, I like to pull chicken at 170. We hit the mark on that one. Let's pull it off and let it rest. Another one at 170. Pull it off, let it rest. Ah, close enough. Pull it off, let it rest. Just down to this last piece. Oh, we hit the mark. 173. What do you think? Damn good looking chicken, man, it is tender. All right, let's plate it. Everything is done. Just take a piece of chicken, a couple pieces of shrimp, and some of our potatoes. And yes, I did clean these off. I think it's time to try this. Our potatoes are perfect. Our shrimp look amazing. Our chicken, let's try a bite. Mmm. Wow. Everything, and I mean everything, comes together. This is the bomb. No salt required because we already put salt in it as we went. No extra sauce either. We did have extra sauce. We could have boiled that up and used more of it for our chicken, but I think that there's just enough on here. I'll try one more. Mmm. Shrimp is perfect, guys. Recipes down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications, share. You know we love it. Thanks everybody for watching The Dude's Kitchen. And we made Bourbon Street chicken with potatoes and shrimp. We'll talk to you later guys. Take care.